would like, first of all, to appreciate the leadership of Honorable Professor Kitila Mkumbo, the Minister of Industry and Trade, and Honorable Omar Said Shaban, Minister for Trade and Industrial Development of Zanzibar, as well as the permanent secretaries and their teams uh, in the design leading to the launch of our joint program, which aims to strengthen micro, small, medium enterprises' capacity to improve productivity, value addition, and competitiveness in the domestic, regional, and international markets, focusing particularly on the specific value chains of horticulture, honey, palm oil, seaweed, anchovies, and so on. I would like also to thank Ms. Annette Semwemba, Deputy Executive Director of the Enhanced Integrated Framework Secretariat uh, for the financial uh, support and the partnership on this project. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, regional trade and intra-African trade play a vital role in diversifying economies and reducing dependence on export of mineral products outside the African continent. At regional level, UNDP has partnered with the African Union through the African Continental Free Trade Area, the AFCDA framework, to help create a conducive trade environment in the region that promotes inclusivity and empowers women, youth, and MSMEs to enhance their economic potential and contribute to accelerated economic growth. We are also partnering with the ministries of industry and trade in Zanzibar and in the mainland and with EIF to exactly address this issue. A stronger, better organized MSME sector that is anchored in both domestic and regional markets can be a sustainable engine of growth with greater potential to generate jobs especially for women and youth. A strong MSME sector is critical to Tanzania's aspirations to become a higher middle income country by 2025. So first of all, thank you very much for, for inviting me to officiate at this very important occasion of presenting the project vehicles, which also Max, the launch of the project. And I want to thank the Minister from Zanzibar, Honorable Omar Said Shaban, for joining us virtually, but also for his very good remarks about the project, as well as the development partners who are participating with us in the implementation of this project, who are now represented here by Madam Musisi but also by the Deputy Executive Director, Madam Anetti, virtually. Our priorities as a government, as you are aware, one of the key pillars of the five-year development plan, three, is to enhance competitiveness for our enterprises, especially the micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, that is key. But secondly, as you are aware, and uh, Christine did mention a little bit about this, our country is in the process of joining and ratifying the Africa Free Continental Free Trade Area, which opens wider markets for our products, but also exposes our enterprises to stiff competition, regionally as well as globally. So this project is not only timely, but extremely significant and important because it plays and enhances our own development agenda from the five-year development plan, but also is giving us impetus and prepares us to participate in the Africa Free Trade Area, which, as I said, we are participating and we shall be joining other countries which have ratified 
the same. Within our five-year agenda as a ministry, but also in this year's budget, our focus is very much in promoting the medium, small me and medium enterprises. So if you look at all those four points, you realize that this project is extremely very important for us because it is enhancing the implementation of our own agenda. So I take this session not just because I have been invited as a routine uh, procedure for ministers to speak at these kind of occasions, but I take it much more seriously for the fact that it is actually uh, helping us to implement our own agenda. I would also like to recognize the contribution by UNDP from project conception, approval, implementation, and leading up to this event. We are pleased to see Tanzania as a leader in EIF countries where EIF mechanisms have been embedded in the day-to-day -day functions of the government and working with the National Steering Committee structure that leverages the expertise of nine ministries, agencies, the private sector, and development partners. Tanzania is a long-standing value partner of the EIF and a recipient of funding totaling up to 3.3 million US dollars since 2013. This funding has been used in a number of interventions in the country, and some of the results that we have seen includes the upgrading of the National College of Tourism campus in Arusha, increasing the monthly revenue by 31%, entrepreneurship training to coffee farmers, dairy farmers, and tomato farmers, leading to increases in income and productive capacity. Despite the difficult times due to the global pandemic, we are pleased to see a renewed momentum of the ongoing EIF project that seeks to improve productivity, value addition, and competitiveness, as has just been described by the permanent secretary. We are looking forward to excellent and sustainable results that will be aimed at improving incomes of people of uh, the United Republic of Tanzania, boosting earning potential, and generally livelihoods through trade. We look forward to the establishment of the anchovy plant in Uguja with the capacity of producing approximately 50 tons a day. And this will impact over 5,000 people with direct employment, as well as developing a competent authority for quality and standards of exports. That is exactly what the EIF would like to see in other countries access to international markets. One is to enhance our capacity to manage trade policy and strategy. Again, this is extremely important, especially at this point that we are reviewing a number of policies related to industry and trade, including the national trade policy. So I think this is also uh, very useful. And the second one is strengthening and expanding a competitive, expo of, uh, a competitive export supply of goods and services from Tanzania. And this is for both uh, the main, mainland and Zanzibar. And it focuses specifically on two elements. One, increasing volumes of our products. This is important, as some of you are aware and know, that one of the critical problems we are facing in our country is low productivity in all aspects. To the extent that we have a number of factories for various products in this country, but actually a number of them are operating below capacity. Why? Because one, we don't have enough raw materials to feed our industries. So any effort that helps us to increase the volume of productivity is very much welcome. And this is what this project is trying to do. And the second pro problem in that regard is the fact that even in our industry, some of them are also operating under capacity, not because of uh, lack of raw, raw materials, but just because of inefficiency and lack of effectiveness. And this project will help us to try uh, to push them up. 
The second issue is uh, which this project tries to address is the quality of our products. And this is critical, especially for micro, small, and medium enterprises. Uh, since I was appointed into this position, I have met a number of small and medium enterprises. And one of their complaints has been that sometimes, and in many occasions, their products are not buy buyable. They are not even welcome into some of our supermarkets. And the main reason is what? Is poor quality. So this is critical because it is going to enhance the sellability of our products. And it also agas well with our ministry's uh, uh, plan through TBS to ensure that our medium, the products that are produced by our small and medium enterprises, they, uh, their, their values increase through uh, quality uh, products. So I think this is a, a very important uh, aspect. And I'm very happy that the areas this project is focusing, they are all very relevant. For example, palm oil production in Kigoma. And you know, uh, through the initiative and directive by our Prime Minister, we are now very much focusing on enhancing the production of palm oil in Kigoma. So this is, this is very important. Also, hot culture products, you know, in Imara and the Simiu regions, uh, this is also agas very well with our ASDP, uh, the Agricultural Sector Development Program, too. Han in Singida, where I come from, where we produce some of the best honeys, not in Tanzania, in the world. So this project is going to even enhance that aspect even more. And of course, seaweed and increase from Pemba and Unguja. So the project is very relevant and very useful uh, for us. You can count on our full support, working closely with the project implementers at UNDP and the teams in the ministries to ensure successful project implementation and we hope that the senior management in the key project ministries will be able to play a guiding role through the national steering committee to ensure the project activities remain relevant and responsive to the needs of the united republic of tanzania and these people we commend you once again for this event for successful um, implementation so far of the project and we wish you all the best as you go forward in project implementation. I thank you very much. And therefore, because of that, I wanted to pay special tribute to our partners who are teaming up with us in furthering the implementation of this project. And I'm told there are quite a number of them. Uh, but I wanted to thank Annette on behalf of the Enhanced Integrated Framework uh, for coordinating us very well. As always, I wanted to thank again Madam Osisi for being with us all the time and ensuring that uh, our industrial agenda succeeds and that we are able to facilitate trade uh, in Tanzania but also regionally, herself being a member of the EAC. So thank you very much, Madam, for being with us and for pushing us all the time to ensure that we are able to do what we are supposed to do and for collaborating with us, of course. Now that this project is being supported by a multiplicity of donors, it is critical that our technical teams through Makatibu Kuwetu, we are able to mainstream and scale up this project into our own development agenda. And uh, of course, lastly, uh, importantly, is to ensure that we are able to engage our local government authorities closely. Because at the end of the day, the micro, small, and medium enterprises are not with us at the headquarters. They are living and working down there at the level of the local government authorities. So it is critical that we are able to engage them, not just because the project requires so, but because it is so central and so important that the success and the sustainability of this project at the end of the day depends on how much the LOGs are appreciating the project and they are participating in the delivery of the programs.